welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this hair and makeup look. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. The hair that I'm gonna be using is from Icy Hair Company. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video and sending over this really pretty wig. Along with the wig, they also sent over some lashes as well as some wig caps, which I definitely appreciated because those really come in handy. The hair that they sent over is their Malaysian straight hair. And this is their 13 by six lace front wig and 24 inches with a 180% density. So we are going to be styling her up and making her look all cute and everything. The style that I'm gonna be going for is also inspired by Arrogant Tay. This is the style that I'm gonna be like kind of replicating that he did on Ari Fletcher. And I just thought it was so cute. I really love like the bangs and everything. I haven't done bangs on my channel yet either. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the hair portion first. I already have my wig cap on, so I'm just gonna start securing that using my got to be hairspray. You guys already know the deal. I pretty much do this like on every like single like wig cap method that I do. I always go in with my got to be hairspray. Just make sure to dry it all the way down before I cut away all the excess wig cap. So our wig cap is cut down. I'm then gonna add my cream foundation from Ruby Kisses on the edges of the wig cap, just so it blends in a lot better with my natural skin tone. So I did bleach my knots off camera, so that part is done. I haven't plucked the frontal part yet, so I'm gonna do that next. I'm not gonna pluck too much hair though. The hairline was looking pretty good already, so I'm pretty much just gonna go on the areas that are a little bit too thick and just kind of pluck those parts just so everything is a little bit more natural looking. Then next, I'm gonna go back in with my got to be free spray and start securing my lace. I usually like to do this like section by section. So I'm gonna start with the crown of the hairline first, secure that down with that hairspray, and then just go over everything with my blow dryer and just make sure it's completely, completely dry before I move on to the next section. And I make sure to have my blow dryer on a cool setting just so I don't burn my skin off. <laughs> Once the hairspray is dry, I'm gonna start cutting away all that excess lace and I'm just gonna make sure to cut in a jagged motion so everything continues to look more natural. Then using my little rat tail comb, I'm gonna go in with some extra hairspray and just kind of touch up the very edges of the lace just to really make sure that everything is nice and secure and there's no little spaces that are lifting. Next, I'm gonna start parting away my bangs so I can get ready to cut them. I'm gonna use my hot comb as well to push the hair in the direction that I want it to go in. I did a little bit of extra plucking to help make sure that the bangs aren't too thick as well at the front. And uh, once I have that hair going in like the right direction, I'm gonna start cutting the hair a little bit on the longer side and then I'll 
work from there. It's always better to cut longer versus like going straight in like with a short bang because once you cut too short, like you can't go back. So it's always better to cut long and then kind of go shorter from there. And as I'm going along, I'm gonna use my flat iron to style them. And I'm also gonna go in between my rat tail and my hot comb just to make sure that the bangs are parted exactly where I want them to be. So now that the bangs are done, I'm gonna start styling the rest of the wig. I'm gonna be doing a half up, half down style, just like Eric and Tay did. I first wanna make sure that the ponytail is nice and slick when I go ahead and do like my final, like, you know, hair tie and everything. So I'm gonna use my hot comb to kind of press the hair, just like I did with the bangs. I just wanna make sure that the hair is going in the right direction so the ponytail is nice and flat. I am gonna be adding a few little baby hairs, but nothing too crazy. There wasn't like a whole lot of baby hair and stuff going on in Tay's style. So um, I just wanted to do like a little bit on the sides next to the bangs. I'm just using a little bit of the got to be hairspray to style them, so nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna pull a few little strands, use my scissors to trim them, and then go in with my edge brush to swoop them back. At this point, I also used a little bit of the got to be free spray to kind of like slick back the ponytail, so that way everything is still like really nice and flat. Before I do my final ponytail, I'm gonna crimp the hair first. So I'm gonna part the hair, and to crimp this hair, I'm using the Bedhead A Wave We Go Crimper. And um, yeah, I just used a little bit of Got To Be Free Spray on the hair first to make sure that the hair has a little bit of hold, but not a lot, just a little bit, because we don't want the hair to be like hard and crunchy. We just want a little bit of hold. So I'm gonna spray my Got To Be Free Spray onto the section first, and then just go in with my waver and wave that hair up. Once I get to the ponytail part, I'm gonna do my final ponytail and secure that using a rubber band. And then I'll go back in with my waver and wave up the ponytail as well. But that's pretty much it for the hair, guys. I love the way this hair came out. It turned out so, so cute. I don't think I've ever done a bang on my channel. So it was high time that I did like a nice, like cute bang. And I love the fact that it's not like too full or anything like that. You can still see like my skin and everything underneath the hair. So yeah, I really love the way that the style came out. Now that the hair is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move into the makeup portion. So my skin has been on the more dry side, so I'm gonna make sure to moisturize first using the Clinique Dramatically Different Gel. And I'm just gonna massage that onto the skin first. I'm also gonna use the Farsali Rose Gold Face Mist just to kind of help give my skin some extra moisture and hydration. So once I have that sprayed onto the skin, I'm just gonna dry that down using my fan so I'm not waiting all day for it to like get dry. <laughs> and then right after, I'm gonna go in with some primer. I have been loving, 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 loving the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. So I'm just gonna massage that into the skin next. And from there, I'll go in with foundation. And the foundation that I'm using today is from MAC. This is their Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC45. I used this foundation in my previous makeup tutorial and I just like fell in love with it all over again. I've been using it too when I'm off camera and just kind of like playing around with makeup and stuff because we've got all the time in the world to play with makeup now. So I've been testing out a few like products here and there, but I've been loving the way the Studio Fix Fluid has been looking. So I'm gonna buff that into the skin using a brush. And then from there, I'll go into concealer. And same thing, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35. I use this in my previous tutorial as well. I'm gonna add that on all the areas that I want to just kind of highlight and brighten. So the under eyes, the sides of the mouth, the chin, a little bit on the nose, you guys know the deal. Like everything's pretty much the same. <laughs> Thank you. 
right after, I'll do a little bit of extra concealer um, from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in the shade 50WY. This is super golden and a lot lighter than my previous concealer, so I'm only gonna use a very, 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 very small amount of this. And I'm gonna place it on the innermost portion of the under eyes, just to kind of help highlight that area a little bit more. And to blend that out, I'll be using a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M504. Now I'm gonna set all those areas that I added concealer using some powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the original one. I'm gonna use a little bit more powder than I usually do. Um, I tried this in my last tutorial and I really liked the way that it looked. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of extra powder and just kind of quickly bake the under eyes just for a little bit, nothing too crazy. Um, I still don't really care too much to bake because my under eyes just kind of get like really dry and like weird and stuff. But I'm gonna add that powder on the under eyes. I'm gonna add Add some on all the areas that I added concealer. So the chin as well as the sides of the mouth and everything just to set those areas as well. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm gonna use a Laura Mercier translucent powder as well, but this one is in the shade medium deep. So it's a lot closer to my natural skin tone, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go in with a much fluffier brush and just kind of set all the areas where I have foundation. And I'll also go over the under eyes and all the areas where I added my first translucent powder to help tone down that brightness. For bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using one from Morphe. This is the Glamazon or Glamour Bronze. I never really know what this bronzer is called, but I really do like this bronzer. I've been using it for a really long time. I actually need to get a new one because I feel like this is probably getting old. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be using this bronzer. It's in the shade Phenom, and um, I'm gonna be adding that on all the areas that I want to add some warmth and depth into the skin. So the cheekbones along the hairline, the nose and stuff. I'm not being like too careful with everything on the forehead and stuff because we have bangs. So all of that stuff is gonna be covered anyways. Like I'm barely gonna do like eyeshadow and stuff. Like you guys will see, I'm literally just gonna add like bronzer onto my eyes and that's it. I'm gonna add some blush. Um, the blush that I'm using today is from NYX Cosmetics. This is their Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Daydream. This is like a really beautiful like pinky coral type of color. So it works really well with like a red lip. So I'm pretty much just gonna drench the cheeks in blush. I've been really, really loving blush. And and it's like one of the few things that you can actually go a little bit heavier on because blush seems to fade like really, really fast. Next up, I'm gonna start working on the eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of that MAC Pro Longwear concealer again, same concealer that I used for the under eyes. I'm just add that to the eyes first and I'm just gonna use a fluffier brush to blend that in. Then moving back to my bronzer, I'm gonna start packing that onto the lid and blending that into the crease. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do as far as like shadow is concerned. I'm not adding anything else. It's pretty much just bronzer and a little bit of brown liner. So I'm just gonna make sure to blend that bronzer in all throughout the crease and the lid really well. And I'm also gonna add that onto the lower lash line. Then for my liner, I'm gonna be using one from Ofra Cosmetics. This is their Fix Line Gel Liner in the shade Brown. I'm literally just doing a baby wing. Like I'm not doing anything too dramatic because again, we have a bang. So all of this is gonna be covered. You're not gonna really be able to see it. And then once I have my eyeliner on, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. The mascara that I'm using today is from L'Oreal. I've been really loving this one. It's their unlimited mascara. I think this is like the newest one that they've launched, but I'm just gonna do a couple of coats of that onto the top lashes first. And then the false lashes that I'm using today are from Lily Lashes. These are in the style Sydney. You guys know I've been really loving a beige waterline, so I'm gonna be using this liner from L'Oreal as well. This is their infallible liner in the shade Nude. Mm -hmm. 
And now that our lash line is complete, I'm gonna add my lower lash mascara using the same mascara that I used for my top lashes. And I'm also gonna add some individuals onto my lower lashes right after I'm done applying my mascara. Moving on to brows, you guys already know I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm doing more of like a fluffy kind of natural brow today. So I'm just gonna fill in the sparser parts of my brow by creating some faux brow hairs. Then to set the brow hairs in place and just kind of fill in any like areas that need a little bit of extra attention, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. And then lastly for the brows, I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning up using the Morphe Fluidity Concealer in 3.55. To highlight the nose, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia So Hollywood Loose Highlighter. I'm gonna add a little bit of that onto the bridge of the nose and just kind of make sure to blend it in really well so you don't see like a harsh line there. And I'm also gonna add that onto the tip and sides of the nose as well as the inner corners of the eyes. And then finally for the lips, I'm gonna be filling in the lips first using two lip liners. The first one I'm using is from NYX Cosmetics. This is their Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in the shade Dark Soul. So it's a really deep like burgundy type of color. I'm gonna fill in the lips first with that and just kind of make sure to feather the color on the outer corners. So it's a lot easier for me to blend in the liquid lipstick into the liner. And then to fill in the lips, I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick from Ofra Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Atlantic City. I love the fact that this lipstick is more like a blue-based red, so it's gonna make your teeth look nice and white when you smile. <laughs> but once I have the color on, I'm just gonna press that into the lip using my finger until it sets all the way down. It's so funny because this look ended up being like totally like Selena vibes, and I wasn't even like purposely going for that. I just really wanted to do this hairstyle, and I figured that I'd do like a really bold lip because you couldn't see like the eyes and everything but it just ended up being like super selena vibes and i love it <laughs> and of course we want to add some setting spray i'm using the all-nighter setting spray from urban decay and that pretty much completes this look guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe please know that i love you and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one